Hi, uh, my name is Glyn Newport. Um, I moved with my family, um, uh, Jane, Leo and Holly, uh, from the UK and we moved over in um, June 2020. Um, we moved from, we used to live in Devon in the UK and um, my wife Jane has always had a kind of a, a fascination with, uh, with Sweden um, and uh, little things like the Northern Lights, um, she loves dogs and so it was uh, Swedish Lappens she loves and um, that kind of led to, to sort of her looking into things when she researched things online about these things Sweden comes up and, and the culture and the way of life and that type of thing and it just kind of filtered down um, in, her, in her thoughts until she decided that actually it might be really nice over there. Um, one of the main driving reasons for moving here was um, something as basic as house pricing. Um, in the UK, um, as many know, the house pricing is, is crazy um, and the cost of a, of a country house in the UK, which is the kind of place we'd love to live in, plenty of open space with um, forests either side, that type of thing, it's unaffordable in the UK. Uh, whereas in, in this country, in this area, um, in Bastetresk, which is where we live, um, which is um, between Norsha and Shalefta, so it's it's isolated, but it's still close to to uh, all the amenities, which is um, which is obviously useful. It's obviously necessary, um, but you get used to the distance pretty quickly when you live in Sweden. Um, so anyway, getting back to the move, um, we found Jane found this um, this property online for sale, and uh, she looked at many properties in different areas, um, but it was always this one house that we first looked at that she kind of really took to. Um, so um, we, we took a bit of a gamble and we, we had the surveys done and we, we bought it without having come to Sweden to see it. And we just, we just took the jump really. Um, we're doing all the research as well. It's, um, it, it sounds like a, a really risky maneuver now when you say it just like that, but it was, um, it was, we kind of thought it through, we did it over the space of about a year or so and it all started to come together and then we made the purchase and, um, and then of course um, the Covid pandemic hit when we were due to move in March 2020. So we were kind of stuck in the UK with this house waiting in Sweden so that was an interesting time. Um, when we arrived in Sweden, um, obviously we didn't know anybody here but um, very soon uh, after Jane had made some comments or joined a few Facebook pages, which is always a great way to, um, to meet people when you first move into this area, um, Martine from Multinations in Norsha, uh, she contacted Jane through the Facebook page and um, as, a, as a kind of welcoming committee, uh, they, they were just amazing, um, putting us in contact with people who could answer questions, um, like people from uh, Norsha Commune, um, simple things about um, you know where, where to find uh, where to find refuge bins or how to organise this or how to organise that. Um, so as a as a welcome, it was it was certainly well received. Um, as well as being lovely people, it was also very helpful to um, to have somebody that you could call on just to go. Oh, what's um, what does this mean? What does that do? You know. Um, Generally, the, the entire area of Shalefta, Bastatrask, Norsha, everywhere you go, you feel, um, you, you don't feel like a, a foreigner in, in somebody else's land, um, which can be a feeling that lots of people get when they move to England, I feel, these days, um, without getting political. But, um, but here in Sweden, everybody is very uh, relaxed and welcoming. Um, and we try to learn the language, which we're going to start the course SFE uh, soon, so that's certainly going to help. But um, by and large, if you can't speak Swedish initially, um, the majority of the um, of the population are they, they learn Swedish from an early age, and it's just it's just another part of what they do. It's um, they don't have a problem speaking English, and they're quite happy to um, if you if you can't speak Swedish initially. Yeah, the um, I suppose. The cultural differences, um, there's a few, but then that's the same with any country that you move to. Um, 
and they're, they're good ones as well. Like Fika is fantastic. Fika is something that, as an English person, I thought, uh, well, I wonder if that's like cream tea, because the English, we don't eat cream tea every day. It's just, you know, it's a special occasion, but it's always like a traditional English thing. Whereas Fika literally happens every day. And, and it's great because it means that you break up your day, you, you have a, a little break, you get to socialize with people, you get to meet people that way. So it's a really, it's a really nice and um, it's a healthy habit because it's, of, you know, the cake is one thing, maybe not healthy so much, but the, um, the healthy habit of just taking a break and talking to people is good.